Hello, this is Pinu, and welcome to Pinu Live Music Show. Okay, welcome everybody, and then this is uh, this is new show that I'm going to be presenting to you, where I'm going to be interviewing different musicians. I'm a little bit of a musician myself, and I'm doing this part time, and I thought it would be great if we could uh, find out a little bit more about uh, some local musician in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, and maybe we'll venture a little bit further, uh, even maybe abroad. Thank you very much for joining, and if you could uh, tell me where you're joining from and add comments and whether you can hear me okay. And that will be great before I uh, introduce you to my guest today. Also, feel free to share this uh, live uh, with your friends if you, if you find it interesting. So today, our guest is musician, singer, songwriter, poet, filmmaker and joker. That's interesting. We'll ask him about this as well. And he plays anytime, anywhere. All he needs is love and give peace a chance. And without further ado, I would like to invite um, Chris Bowman. Hello, Chris. How's it going? Great. Thanks. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. So before we get to some question, Chris, if you could uh, tell us uh, how you've been doing during this uh, lockdown, what you've been doing and, and how, how was the life for you? Oh, um, keeping well, thanks. Uh, keeping busy with my music, um, going out only for shopping and jogging. You know, we've had some beautiful weather here. So, yeah, makes you want to go outside, you know, but of course, keeping social distancing, right? <laughs> but, um, no, it's, I found it um, I, to my benefit, really, to, to have more time to do things I um, didn't feel I had time to do, you know, beforehand, before the lockdown, so, <laughs> some other projects, things to work on, yeah. So. Yeah, okay, great. And mm -hmm. so... <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, if you have any questions to Chris, feel free to add them in, in the comments. We will try to pick some uh, interesting questions for Chris and, and ask Chris uh, your, some of your questions. But before we have any questions from you, uh, let me ask Chris, uh, questions from my list. And Chris, what's your story? How did you start? How did you get into into the music uh, you told me that you've been doing this for like 18 years so how did it all start um that's like my half my life um it's when my dad introduced me to the music of the beatles actually um it was um, in the 90s i was a teenager at school and well i was just listening to the local hits as you didn't know anything about older music but when I heard the Beatles, it just blew my mind. I didn't think anything that good could exist so long ago. Um, you know, as a kid would think. <laughs> um, and uh, that subsequently led me to hearing all the other classic rock classics like The Stones and artists like Bob Dylan. <laughs> so these are huge influences on my music, singing and songwriting. <laughs> so that's what made me want to pick up the guitar, learn to play and write songs. Particularly, right. uh, John, my sorry, <laughs> favorite Beatles. <laughs> right. Okay. That's great. That's great. Does your song sound sort of similar to, to, to Beatles and John Lennon? I yeah, I, I think so. I try to make it that way. Uh, and I, I think many people agree as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will be we'll the hear thing. Chris later on so we'll be able to say and oh, with if, <laughs> yeah so you got your guitar i guess and then yeah we'll hear you playing relatively shortly okay that's great 
And I've also heard, I'm not sure if that's true. I heard it, I've read something, I'm not quite sure, that you are the hardest working musician in Cheltenham. Tell, tell me something about this. Is, is that true? Well, um, I've been told by some people. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> get to my head. But I, I feel, yeah, I mean, what I personally think I, I put my all into it. Um, you know, um, I do this full time and I'm fortunate that I'm able to. And um, I, um, nothing makes me happier than to sit down and write. Uh, first and foremost, I see myself as a writer, you know, songwriter, and as I said, poet and yeah. short story, all that. So it, it starts at the right and the music comes after performing, obviously. So the right. writing's the blueprint, like a script movie is how I see it. <laughs> but by right. the point, yeah, um, getting back to the question, I, I do it incessantly. So any spare moment I can get. And again, I'm fortunate that I'm able to do that. So um, my, my output's quite <laughs> big. <laughs> you know? yeah if not the hardest I'm one of the hardest myself. definitely <laughs> yeah hopefully better now so chris tell us something yeah. about open open microphone that you in involve you are involved yeah. in yeah oh uh, yeah i play a lot of open mic nights uh, basically all of them in cheltenham some in gloucester nearby um and i played several gigs here and in gloucester and in bristol as well that was Going to uni there briefly. Uh, their music school called BIM, British Institute for Modern Music. Paid a couple of terms, found and right for me, and just moved back to Cheltenham and just, like, like I said, incessantly cracked on my own with my music. <laughs> but it was this all good experience. And, 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 um, yeah, we never stopped learning. <laughs> Sounds great. So I think, uh, Chris, what we're going to do. We'll let you play. The, we have some questions from the audience, and thank you very much for those, and keep them coming. Uh, but in the meantime, Chris, uh, are you ready to play your, one of your first songs? Oh, do you want me to play a song now? <laughs> yeah. Tell us where you're going to be playing. The stage is yours, okay. Chris. It's all right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll try to get um Yeah. But this song is called Jim and I. It could be my biggest hit. It's uh, one of the three most popular songs of mine. This, I feel like this is the one that started it all. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's good. Right into a Gemini. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jim and I were walking down the path from the sand. To the school, it was crappy weather and we were cold. We had spent the night in the infirmary. We had breakfast trays, we were both in a daze. We were moving quickly, very quickly. I checked my watch, it was too late to stop. We had missed our breakfast, it was time for lunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we were unlikely to see anyone, we were very, very paranoid, we had to get back to Boberly's house, discuss the rest of the afternoon, we passed through the empty JCR, we bumped into a crowd of girls, girls are on the way to get through their day. Jim snuck away, I didn't know which way, hey, that's right, oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, I was left in the midst of annoying girls. They were joking about my breakfast tray. They were telling me not to spit it all. I just laughed along. It wouldn't be long. I quickly caught Jim by the gym. He was way ahead of me. I had to run to him. I caught a glance of a couple of boys who had their faces painted black. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Perfect. Thank you very oh, yeah. much, Chris. That was really good. Thank you. Yeah, that was great. And uh, mo for most part, it was good. It was breaking up a little bit uh, sometimes in the middle, but most of it was uh, really actually quite good. Okay, let's take some questions from from uh, the comments. And Jake is asking, how did you come up with the names of each song or album? Well, the albums, well, that's an easy one. That's um, I'm into the idea of concept albums. You know, all the great concept, like the um, prog rock of the 70s, Pink Floyd comes to mind, The Who um where it has an overriding theme the whole album in itself and for instance my second album clifton days is about my time at clifton college and i was doing my a levels it was boarding school and that's when i decided to learn to play the guitar right so after like i explained my band introducing me to classic rock particularly the beatles um well the story to that song jim was an actual person he was my friend of in college in my same year, same boarding house, Mobley's house, mm. and um, as well, um, I keep a dream diary now. <laughs> you never know, right? Gotta mm. Try to get ideas anywhere. Um, yeah, so, exactly. thing, it, it it's a real song, is the, the lyrics, but Jim is an actual friend of mine from Clifton days, <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's semi autobiographical just dream imagery mixed in there. Uh, I like humor in my music. So uh, especially sort of adult humor. <laughs> Frank Zappa, you may have heard of him as a, a great classic rocker. Yeah. A big influence yeah. of mine. Of my course. Writing as yeah. well for sort of gay themes and <laughs> crass material, you know, basically like schoolboy uh, humor. But that, to me, that's rock and roll. <laughs> it's important to have some pen and paper when you had ain't yeah. up at all times. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to come up with with the names, but you know, I think uh, I think you explained it very well. So let's take another question. And question is is there a history to oh, the right. stickers right. on the guitar? Oh yeah. So. <laughs> You see that? Look at all that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love colorful art, pop art. Yeah. Um, well, these stickers were done by a couple of friends that went to the uni here, did, um, you know, art degrees. <laughs> so it was actual artwork by friends of mine. Yeah. And they sold the sticker. Yeah, so, oh, uh, so um, I, I named my guitar... Uh, the name is Laura. <laughs> All right. Laura as an L A R A, like Laura Croft. <laughs> right. Fact. Before you play your second song, yeah, if you could tell, if you could tell us, what are your plans? What are you planning to do next? Obviously, uh, playing is difficult at the moment. But what are you doing? What are you planning for the future where uh, people will be able to see you? Hopefully, I'm not sure whether we can uh, already talk about this. Uh, but after, you know, 
all the restrictions are lifted or maybe before even i lifted yeah. at the moment where can people see you where can people see you and how can people what are your plans to do next you're recording a song maybe recording an album anything else and uh, just before you start i will tell that um why chris will be playing uh, his second songs we will post in the comments link with um, different social media accounts facebook page reverb nation deezer spotify so you can check chris's music there and hopefully follow him and what he's doing in the future and we strongly encourage you to you know press and subscribe and like to all of his uh, social media and then when he will be playing live um, then go and see him and i can already say that chris i think will be back <laughs> on this show because i know we have some some difficulties today and i certainly have some difficulties with clearly being able to hear chris so uh, i'm sure you. you know we will invite you invite chris back in in sometime soon and maybe we'll have a sort of better sort of re reception than today okay chris so on to the next song and uh, yours this is uh, called lover boy it's also based on the threat from clifton college days he was a kid, I was a little jealous all of at the time because he seemed um, popular with the ladies, particularly one I fancied, but yeah, that was then. So that was the inspiration of this song. It's exaggerated, it's humorous, and it goes like this. Dun, 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 dun. Love a boy had everything. Good looks and personality. He didn't like fights, he was the nicest thing And all the women he, he wanted he had Oh, love a boy How do you do it? Oh, love a boy Just tell me how you are doing Oh, love a boy how do you do it? Oh, love boy, just tell me how you are doing. How do you do it? Dun, 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 dun. Then one day, lover boy was shocked. The new kid liked this funny ex. He sat back and watched him fell. Carried on with his new love. That's right now. Oh, love boy, how do you do it? Oh, love boy, just tell me how you do it. Oh, love boy, how do you do it? Oh, love boy, just tell me how you are doing. How do you do it? Dun, 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 dun. Now, now these days, love a boy is great. He even is my biggest fan. He sits on down to hear me chant about this is song that I sing to you all together now. Oh, love boy, how do you do it? Oh, love boy, just tell me how you do it. Oh, love boy, how do you do it? Oh, love boy, just tell me how you do it. Just tell me how you are doing. 
Perfect. <laughs> that was good, Chris. That was good. Let me. There you go. <laughs> okay. That was lovely. <laughs> yeah, really good, Chris. And and again, for most part, it was uh, it was okay <laughs> in terms of the sound quality. Okay, that's great. Um, let's see. So I have now posted your uh, link to your different social media. So everybody who wants to follow you and I encourage everybody to do it to check more about Chris to listen more of his music. I know Chris is posting uh, music uh, videos on his Facebook page and, and you've done some video clips as well on your YouTube and you have some songs on Spotify. So so that is uh, great. Um, and this is how everybody uh, can uh, follow you. Um, so before we finish, Chris, because I think it's time slowly to to finish our um, our interview, and then what would you could you tell us what are your sort of goals or what are your ambition in terms of being a musician? What would have to happen uh, for you to be say, yeah, I'm really happy how my career is going and everything is uh, as i would like it to be or maybe you're already at that stage oh just uh, keep doing what i'm doing <laughs> posting on time before on um yeah spotify soundcloud and so on <laughs> and i update my youtube i've got a 200 video <laughs> to try out that app TikTok. i don't think i try that to try to get more follow you post short right. video video a bit like instagram or something but um, yeah i'm just going to investigate that next so that's, that's a future plan in the near term. <laughs> i might uh, put some up tonight actually uh, there's a... it's not that i um have new material to post every day some of them are facebook memories because it's just it, it's just the hard time and work is paid off that that's what i love about facebook one of the things i love is you know memory of the day <laughs> oh. okay chris that's that's great thank you very much and naomi is asking before we let you go are you doing yeah chris are you doing a live tonight my office so to entertain huh? people <laughs> they love my work yeah <laughs> Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, thank yeah, you very much, Chris. <laughs> Spread the love, like to say. Yeah. Oh, is there a question? Yeah. Oh, you need to know. Hi. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for watching. Thanks, Chris. We'll definitely we'll we'll keep watching what you're doing. Yeah. We'll keep watching what you're doing. I I hope that you will get some new fans. Thank you. Today, and we will definitely get back for maybe another chat in the future, and maybe you will have. Uh, yes some better quality sort of reception and thank you everybody for joining thank you for your questions and follow chris and join us uh, also next week because next week we have uh, another guest um, and it's come j your yeah, it's a very interesting uh, new artist, and we will be talking to Cam next week, the same time, Saturday, 5 p.m., uh, 30th of May. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining. And Thank you. I'll see you again next time. Thank you.